This is a demo of our Lionel 6560 Bucyrus Erie crane. We've taken the crane, removed it from the car that it was on, and we mounted it on a Marx tower. You can see the Marx tower, we had to cut about 25% of it off the top and we put it back together. It still has the railing and we also cut the ladder that went up the front of it there. The crane is controllable with a Sony remote and we can do most things that you'd want to do with the crane. You could see that right now we have some blinking aircraft lights on the top of the crane. There are actually three of them. There's one on the end of the boom there. There's one in the middle of the cab and then there's another one on the rear of the cab. You can't see them that well. But this makes a very nice effect. We can also turn them off and on by pressing number 9 we'll turn them off and pressing number 7 we'll turn them back on. There's a light in the cab we can turn that on by pressing number 2 and we could turn it off by pressing number 5. We can also rotate the crane if we press number four, the crane will rotate in one direction. If we press number six, it will rotate in the opposite direction. If we wanted to pick up some of the, the nuts that are in the tray alongside of the track, we can lower the magnet and we want to do that, we can press zero on the volume, or minus on the volume, sorry. And that will lower the magnet down into the tray. If we want to pick up the nuts in the tray, we press number eight. That turns the magnet on. You can also see that there's a, an LED on the top, towards the rear, a red LED which comes on. That tells you the magnet is on. So if we press the volume plus we can lift the nuts up out of the little tray. If we wanted to try and place them inside the gondola car that's pictured there, we can press number six to rotate the crane. We can press the volume minus if we want to to lower. And finally we can press the zero to turn the magnet off. Watch the LED on the back of the cab. That will get turned off when we do that. So if we want to raise the magnet up, we press the plus on the volume. If we wanted to rotate the crane, we can press number four. If we wanted to raise and lower the boom, you use the channel plus and minus or channel up and down. If we press the minus, it will lower the boom. And if we press the channel plus, it will raise the boom. You can see that we can do just about everything that you would want to do with the crane. And there's possibly a lot of different scenarios that you could think of. Notice that the, the base of the Marx Tower is not very big, so you can run the O-gauge track fairly close 
to the tower I think the the blinking lights on the the aircraft lights are very nice. 